Man, Chris, that's a nice putt. Can I trade you this mic for that putter? Absolutely. All right, can I take this home? Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. Okay, all right, well, we'll talk about that <laughs> later. But what's the deal with this putter? It's a really nice putter, but it's got the Siemens name on it. How'd Absolutely. that come to be? Yeah, so these are custom putters. I actually machined them all myself in one of our tech centers. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we did it to be able to bring people into the booth, have a little fun, showcase what we're doing, and really get a chance to leverage some of our partnerships we've done in the past. Yeah. So here, we're actually using a Mugi tooling to cut the entire putter. So every operation was done with a Mugi. And yeah. what was nice about the putter is it got to give us an opportunity to kind of explore the full breadth of not only the Mugi tooling and cutting, but also their holder line, which I I was totally blown away with when Kent introduced me to him. Well, that's perfect. So let's go talk to Kent. I'm going to take that microphone. Yep. You can go back to your golf game. All right, great. Thank you. All right, so Kent, I was just talking about the putter that Chris is over there. I mean, he's goofing off. We're at IMTS. Yeah, of course. Hopefully, he doesn't get in too much trouble. We got sure. him on camera. We got some video evidence now. Yeah, but, absolutely. So, what tools went into that? And I mean, he's talking about the holders. I want to get to those. Oh, of course. But. But what's the benefit when you get to a partnership like you have with Siemens, where they come to you with an application and yeah. they get to use so many of your tools and you even get to introduce your holders. So what's, what's that look like? Well, well, I gotta tell you, the biggest benefit for us is the partnership with Siemens gives us the opportunity to showcase the tools on how they work within the programs and the parameters of Siemens. Mm -hmm. In particular, people have always known us as a threading company. We are not a threading company anymore. We encompass yeah. all the tools, of course. And specifically in this one was billing. And what was really exciting about this, first of all, was we do have indexables. So this is our Top Cut Time S okay. uh, holder. Uh, that was employed to pretty much do the basic roughing of the shape of this tool. Yep. It's really nice to have the indexable, to, oh, so you can just change your inserts, keep hogging that material, absolutely. save your carbide for the finishing and the final contours. Yes. So what else did we throw in there? Okay, we did, this is one of our newest products too, our multi-drill. Okay. So we did use that for the hosel of the of the putter. Yeah. So this was designed for all materials, and the tools I'm going to, I'm explaining today really are designed for universal applications. So yeah. other than we do have tools that are specific for aluminum, these were designed specifically for universal, in particular this part being stainless steel. Uh, we opted for the top cut yep. tool. It's a tie Allen coated tool. We do offer these in multiple configurations, both ball as you can see, and we've got two fluters. This is a five fluter that we use. Oh the, man. The, yeah, I'll let you take a look at that. Yeah. So this holder that it's in is the FPC holder. And this is a kind of worm gear driven holder, very tight uh, tolerances, uh, three micron concentricity at three times D. Wow. So, so we have in various tapers and various configurations. That's a really wild, uh, there's got to be some magic to get that tool in there, right? Well, you'd almost think so, but the magic is pretty simple. So, oh. Out comes the... There we go, that was simple. <laughs> Out comes the collet here. And it is fairly beefy collet. These were designed Ooh. for vibration dampening. Yeah. So this extends the life of the tools, uh, extends the pretty much the <laughs> life of any spindle as well because it's absorbing a lot of vibrations and milling. So again, this is uh, rear gear driven. It, uh, it will replace, in many instances, hydraulic and shrink because you yeah. don't need a heat machine. You're not running into bladder issues with hydraulics. So, yeah. uh, very good clamping force. Plus, we do have an app, a collet that allows for pull-out. We have a locking pin yeah. on it that resolves any pull-out issues you might have. So, but that's, but, um, yeah, that's a beautiful alignment. So, did you end up picking all of these tools or did Chris have a hand in that? Well, Chris had a hand in it too, um, so I would like to, he can explain some of these that we've done yeah, with this, but Chris, of course. You're going to have to stop golfing for now. Yes, all right, all right. You know what, I'll take that. I'll go around and putt a little bit. So. There you go. You go, you go knock a few I'll around you there. talk about that one. Well, Absolutely. At least, at least Ken did some work for that putting. Come on now. So <laughs> what, sure. what, what had you go with, like, I noticed this really small micro ball nose. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So one that looks brand new to me. I have never seen that small of a micro ball nose, especially here at IMTS. I mean, it looks like if I sneeze, that thing's gonna break on me. Sure, that's a, that's a one millimeter ball end mill. Yeah. Um, we actually lean on that kind of tool for a lot of our engraving applications. Oh, you can get a smart. Yeah, you can get a much finer engraving. You can get that nice radius to the profile. And instead of your typical single point engraving tools that yeah. roll a real heavy burr, you know, you can feel the backside or even the front where we did this engraving. 
There was no secondary polishing or debrouping. That's how it came off the machine. Really? Absolutely. Well, I'm so used to that sharp corners creating those little bit of burrs. You oh, got to hit yeah. with some scotch bright. Yeah. You got no or, surface footage, right? Or you start to notch it because it's a sharp point and you don't have the benefit and the strength of a radius for engraving. That's a smart selection. And I tell you, I was blown away with that tool. Not only did we do the engraving, because all these Siemens letters, they are framed huh. out, yeah. but we pocketed with that as well. So if you roll your finger in there, it's the, we pocketed all those Siemens that is, letters. That, that is was beautifully all done. done. And I mean, I, I had to make 35 of these putters. <laughs> I will tell you, one tool. I didn't really? even change a tool. This is 304 stainless. This stuff 304 is stellar. stainless, like a micro ball nose, and you only had to use one? One tool. So one that goes tool. back to what our buddy Ken was talking about when he says these tools go a long way. Go a long way. And I attribute that to two things. Not only the quality of this tool, yeah. but also the quality of these holders. Okay. You know, I use a lot of different holders. And this is the first time I got to use a worm gear based technology. Yep. These things are rock solid, and there is zero run out. Okay, well, you and I need to finish this up, and I need to have a conversation to get me one of them putters. All right, but fair enough. Thank you so much for the, all that you guys have done with your partnership to make this possible, and thank you for just everything that you brought to the show today. Great, well, I appreciate awesome. you guys stopping by. Thank you.